Well, steep declines for stocks and also oil this week and mounting concerns about Greece's debt, that country, the fear that its debt crisis could spread across Europe. Let's bring in legendary investor Jim Rogers for more uh, and his perspective on it. Jim, thank you for, for being with us this morning. Let's just focus on Greece. You've got massive violent protests there. Um, uh, regulators in the Eurozone failing to agree on a rescue plan for Greece. What's your take here on the broader impact, not only for Europe, but also for the U.S.? Poppy, Greece is bankrupt, and the sooner we recognize that and do something about it, the better. Some of the politicians in, in Europe are just trying to push it down the road. Eventually, we're going to have to bite the bullet, and some banks are going to have to lose, and bondholders are going to have to lose a lot of money. It's not the end of the world. It's losses, but it's not the end of the world. Should Europe be, be preparing for what I've seen some headlines saying, um, their own Lehman moment when it comes to Greece? Should they be preparing for this? Absolutely. I mean, it, it, there's no way Greece can pay off those debts. If you just look at even the, when all their austerity plans, Poppy, the debts still continue to rise. They rise at a slower rate, but the debt goes up. This is not going to work, pushing the can down the road. Somebody's going to have to take some losses, but Poppy, that's good. You take the losses. You reorganize and you start over from a sound base. Then people make a lot of money. The question is, how quickly does that happen? And, and, and if we are indeed kicking the can down the road when it comes to Greece, um, it, it action needs to happen soon. We're seeing the impact here. We saw oil fall 4% Wednesday alone, largely on those concerns about Greece. The market is headed for seven straight weeks of declines here in the United States. We are facing, are in the midst of our own debt crisis. Yes, Poppy, I'm glad you understand that. I'm glad, I wish everybody in America understood that. America's the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. We've got to do something. Sitting around denying reality in America and in Greece and in Europe is not going to solve the problem. The only way you solve the problem is you recognize it, you deal with it, you reorganize and you start over. Yes, it's pain. It's serious pain for a while, but we've had 30 or 40 years of ignoring reality. Well, how do you invest then in, in a market like this? Looking at equities, do you think they're fairly valued now? Is this short-term concern? Is this long-term concern? And also looking at oil, just around $94, $95 a barrel. Well, people are dumping stocks right now, and usually if it really gets panicky, you should probably step in and buy for a while. There'll be a rally whenever you have a lot of panic. But over the next couple of years, so, so Poppy, I'm concerned about equities. I mean, every four to six years in American history, we've had a, an economic slowdown. That means we're overdue for one in two, late 2011 or 2012 or 2013. I would urge people to start worrying about when the next slowdown is coming because, Poppy, it's, it's going to come whether we like it or not. And we're getting overdue. We're still in a slowdown when you look at our GDP, when you look at how our economy is growing. Um, double dip recession, are you concerned as some are about falling into a depression? Is that a reality? You heard GOP candidates saying in the debate on Monday night, this is Obama's depression. Is this alarmist? Do you agree we're headed there? I know that we're going to have continued uh, un un unpleasantness in the United States. I know it's going to get worse sometime in the next couple of years. Whether it's called a depression or not, it's irrelevant. It's, it's, things are not going to be great until we deal with this staggering debt problem. The idea that you solve a problem of too much debt and too much consumption with more debt and more consumption is insane. It's interesting, too, when you look at consumers saving more, pulling back a little bit on their debt. Um, you see companies doing the same thing. Interesting, you look at the states of the United States of America, not the situation when it comes to their, their balance sheet. And when it comes to U.S. credit quality, um, even Ben Bernanke saying, look, you've got to raise the debt ceiling. There's not a choice. At the same time, you've been an outspoken critic of, of Bernanke's. You've said that every month that he's been in office um, a, as the Fed chief, he's been wrong. So what's the solution on the debt ceiling? Poppy, can you find a single time where the man has been right in the last eight years? I cannot, and I don't know anybody else who can either. The solution is to stop spending so much money. We're the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. We're spending over $1 trillion a year more than we have. I mean, Poppy, this cannot go on. I, I don't like saying it. I'm an American taxpayer like you, but we've got to stop.